well friends in this session we would be talking on various financial statements and classification of the various ratios and interpretation of these ratios friends as you know the commercial banks as a group are not only the largest reservoirs of funds but also they are the biggest providers of finance to the industry so for us the finance to the industry that is the latter part is concerned they are required to analyze the various financial statements that are submitted that are being submitted to the banks then you may ask what is analysis what what we mean analysis or what is analysis analysis of the financial statement is the process of breaking the complex facts and figures into simple items then what is interpretation the interpretation means it's also a process of critically examining these elements <coughs> with a view to draw conclusion from the simplified statements then what are the statements the bankers normally ncs normally obtain from the borrowers from the industrial borrowers they are mainly that is trading and trading of manufacture uh, trading or manufacturing account that is already included in the balance sheet it means a balance sheet, uh, trading and profit and loss account both together is coming then second one is the profit and loss account first one is trading or manufacturing account another statement is profit and loss account and third one is the balance sheet then along with that bank bankers may insist bank base may obtain the auditor's report whether the report contains any qualification or not then in public limited companies and other the directors report also being obtained the uh, in addition to these statements bank will also uh, obtain the income tax sale tax assessment orders or returns these are the various financial statements that are being obtained by the bank while processing or while appraising the credit requirement of the particular proponent so trading account as i said it is prepared to ascertain the gross profit or gross loss or gross working result for the entire period i repeat it gives a cumulative position for the entire period covered by it like sales figures appearing in it and it will not be a, a position as on a particular date the profit and loss is concerned it provides the figures of the net result all expenses except these already shown in trading account trading account are debited in this account to arrive at the net result the trend about the profitability can be ascertained from these two statements for analysis purpose these are grouped into as i told there is selling and distribution expenses then management expenses financial expenses and depreciation maintenance and depreciation while analyzing this profit and loss what are the points to be examined points to be seen they are mainly on sales sales is the major item because the based on which only the unit is in a position to generate its income so we will always see 
you will always have a bankers will always have a look on the trend whether the sales achieved during the period is on increasing trend or otherwise if the position is otherwise naturally the bankers would ask why this is so and a satisfactory explanation would be received then only further process will be uh, uh, process will be continued so sales then comes sales return sales return is also another gray area where the uh, bankers are required to looked into if the sales returns are heavy it indicates that something wrong with the product it is sold and it is again coming back some manufacturing defect or the product is not acceptable to the market the quality so far as quality is concerned it may not be up to the mark perhaps that may be the reason it is the frequent um, that that may be the reason why the sales returns are on the increase then comes closing stock this is the area to be examined thoroughly because the lot of jugglery is taking place in this uh, in this area because in case the unit wants to inflate its profit profit figure yes manipulation would be done here it is very difficult to have a thorough check of the closing stock by manually verifying the stock all random basis people do it but a close analysis should be done and normally bankers would do it then selling and other expenses there also the analysis would be done on the basis of trend what is what was in the area what was the percentage of the expenses and what is now and what is the increase in the turnover what is increase in the production based on which whether it is justified or not then comes another management expenses this is also to be analyzed where any major variance is involved that should be that should be looked into and proper satisfactory explanation would be received then financial expenses whether the utility this will indicate the utilization of the fund means outside fund mainly from the bank whether it is properly utilized any under utilization naturally this financial expenses would come down if it is within the if it is any matching with the, that of the limit sanction and the interest uh, debited here interest charged here then if it is satisfied okay we can accept it so here also the financial expenses will also include suppose the unit has taken or raised fund from outside sources preferably from the associates from the group concerns or the friends of the directors etc on against on that uh, fund also by this uh, borrower or the company is required to pay many times this interest so that is also inclusive of the financial expenses so as a banker it should be seen at what rate this interest is being paid on the unsecured this is known as unsecured loan on what rate this interest is paid on unsecured loan as per the directions by the company cannot give company should not give a rate of interest higher than what is being charged by the bank so bank will always have a look on this we will always while analyzing that financial expenses what is the interest uh, from interest so far as bank charge what is interest paid towards this unsecured loan raised from the from um, other sources then bank will come to the conclusion okay then depreciation whether the methods are proper whether it is as per the standard methods that straight line method or um, other method you are used properly or not then gross profit and net profit that is a final conclusion so far as uh, profit and loss is concerned whether the unit is making the profit or what is that uh, this is what is the net profit what is the percentage of profit what is the profitability if profitability is, uh, uh, is on the increasing trend that means the unit is faring well these are the areas which we de, uh, de, um, which we talked that is sales sales return closing stock selling and expenses management expenses financial expenses depreciation gross profit and net profit these are the major areas 
uh, which are being looked into, which are being examined by the banker while processing the credit proposal or while considering any enhancement in the uh, enhancement in the exposure or credit. So now coming to uh, this uh, balance sheet, balance sheet is a position as on a particular date and that gives the financial position of the company as on that date. Whereas in the case of trading and profit and loss account that gives the entire position, entire period from starting from first month to twelfth month. Whereas in this case it is a position as on a particular date and as per the present practice or present guidelines it should be as on the 31st March of the year. And 31st March, what is, what is the position? That will be reflected in the balance sheet. So balance sheet is a tool based on this balance sheet or it will, the balance sheet will assist the banker in forming his judgment about the financial position of the proponent of the company, whether it is financially sound, whether it is uh, whether the unit is a weak one or there is any weakness so far as financial position is concerned. The balance sheet analysis discloses many features of vital importance to the banker who takes a decision on the lending. Which are the areas to be looked into so far as balance sheet is concerned? While going through the balance sheet, the first and foremost thing the banker would look into whether the sales are in an increasing trend, whether the unit is in profit, whether the net profit is increasing, whether adequate provision is provided for bad and doubtful debts, if any doubt, bad and doubtful debts are there whether adequate provision is made or not, whether the auditor made any qualification in the report. As I already indicated, these are the uh, major areas where bank, a banker would look into while going through the profit and loss as well as the balance sheet. Now coming to the next part, here the balance sheet would give what is the net worth of the unit. What is the net worth? What do you understand by net worth? It is nothing but the capital plus free reserves minus intangible assets. It is the source of funds. It is a source of funds for the business which are available on a permanent basis. Capital that includes capital, that includes equity capital, preference capital that is maturing after 12 years, capital reserve, general reserve and other resource that is excluding provisions and profits. Then which are the areas normally we look into? After seeing the balance sheet, after drawing an inference but drawing the conclusion about the financial position of this company, of the unit, the bankers would go to the next step that is analysis of the ratio analysis. Then you may ask the question, what, would, what do you mean by ratio? Or what are the tools available for ratio analysis? There are various tools that are available uh, for uh, analysis of the balance sheet, analysis of the ratios. They are mainly of the percentage of balance sheet, trend percentage, ratio analysis, fund flow and cash flow statements. But the first and the second are not universally uh, accepted because of lot, of lot of limitations and this ratio analysis and the other third one ratio analysis and fund flow and cash flow analysis are being uh, exclusively applied so far as the appraisal of uh, so far as credit appraisal is concerned in India. So we would be talking mainly on the ratio analysis, 
the fund flow and cash flow statements then what what we mean by ratio what is a ratio a ratio is a yardstick which measures the relationship between two variables this yardstick frequently used as a ratio or a percentage or as a an index for analyzing the ratio the balance sheet shall be reclassified because when the banker gets the balance sheet it will be put, uh, reclassified into uh, mainly on six heads that is current liabilities term liabilities then capital and reserve another that is that will come in the liability side and the asset side that is fixed assets current asset and intangible assets analysis again depends on the projections historical standard historical standards and external standards